Gauteng, the smallest but most populous developed province, home to the biggest city, the administrative capital and large industrial areas. 12.3 million people stuck without water. Those that don't have water at the moment, the reservoirs have filled up and what the engineers are now working on, our counterparts on the municipality side, is to work on being able to reintroduce the water. From metros to rural villages, water woos in South Africa are common. Aging infrastructure, maintenance, cable theft, power supply and poor management are to blame. We have problems with water all over the country at the community level. And the worrying thing is that there's a sort of disconnect between what's happening at the governmental level and what's really happening on the ground. And there are no cutting corners to fixing the problem. Better investment in infrastructure and, and monitoring to know whether the systems are working and the backups are working. Um, better communication with citizens. Government says it's aware of the urgency. We have already started to invest on infrastructure, like we have done in Guiani, like we have done in Josini, our interventions in Blumhoff. We also need to make sure that we, we use the money that has been put aside for operations and maintenance. We maintain the old that we have and we must also make sure that we plan and ensure that there's maintenance for the ones that we are uh, building. Climatic factors also play a role. Experts warn that the country could run dry as early as 2020. The repeated call over the past two weeks, use water sparingly. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.